Hey guys, this is Dan Swanners, and today I'm making a YouTube video about, you know, what happened. I think a couple of days ago, um, this homeless lady is, said that um, she gave me a verse, you know, a scripture, I mean. And it's in, um, S a ladies, I guess it's called this. You see it? S a ladies, whatever that word is. <laughs> yeah, but she was like, it's, t it's a time to do things, you know. But the verse starts like this. It says, everything has its time. To everything, there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant. It says right here, and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace, a, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to gain, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to go away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. So, this message, you know, that homeless lady gave me a scripture and it was talking about a time to do things. And I was amazed because, you know, I was thinking about my life and the sins I was doing. And at this stage, at the baptism, it's the time to stop sinning. Like, you know, like I know everybody still sins because sin's still in his nature. But I got, you know, I'm repenting, you know, like especially like a certain sin I keep doing, you know, it's a time to stop sin because before... You know, before, like, my used to live at home, my parents, I was into sin. I was, like, you know, sinning and doing, you know, wrong. And I was not pleasing God and glorifying God. So now I'm out the house. You know, I have a wife. I have my own place. So now is the time to, you know, repent, especially of the same sin I'm keep, I am keep um, sinning about. It's time for me to repent. And that's the time in the scripture. It's talking about a time to do things, you know, a time to repent. A time for sorrow, time to hate, kill, you know, I know a time when people, you know, kill, that's, that's, you know, I know it's, it's a time for that, you know, like it's, it's crazy because it's, it's an actual time for that. And I know it's wrong and you're not supposed to kill, but people do that and everything has a time, you know, a time to heal, time to heal people and, you know, just healing and, you know, being cured and, you know, being happy. It's a time for everything. So that helps me be, you know, more strong in Jesus Christ because thinking about time is like I got to stop sinning, especially the same sin I keep going through. You know, it's a time to be obedient towards Christ because I got, I, I got baptized and now I'm a new person. I'm not the old person no more. So it's a time to change, a time for me, a time for me to be obedient towards Christ and follow his ways and not sin, especially the same sin and get better, you know, repent. So I know that that keeps me moving forward because now, you know, it keeps me stronger because it's a time to change, you know, because I'm a reborn Christian again, a reborn Christian again. And, you know, it's amazing, like, how that homeless lady gave me that scripture. And just by thinking about the times, about what I just read to you guys in the Bible, is a time to stop doing what I'm doing. And, you know, that keeps me to stop, you know, because that's a message from God. So that's why I was reading the scripture that, you know, she gave to me and she said it was for me. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. And, you know, another thing was amazing was today I was talking to this older gentleman near 7-Eleven where I work. Um, he was telling me that he was a skeptical, like about believing in God. He didn't know what to believe, but he was telling me, you know, like what happened, like when he was in church, like he felt like a presence of God like he just felt like a hand an arm went over his shoulder because he has back pains but he just felt like a a hand and arm go over his shoulder and you know like it was a sign from God like you know he felt chills and it was amazing and like it made him believe in God and the amazing part too is that I'm the only one that he told his testimony to like you know like he never told nobody else's testimony so he was just talking about that and stuff, and we was talking, we had a good conversation about God, 
and you know like that was a great testimony and you know everything happens for a reason that's why god puts his children to talk to you know people he needs to hear his word you know especially skeptics or unbelievers so i was there at the right time talking to him about jesus christ and about how loving he is and you know he he's just happy that he shared his testimony and he you know i'm the first one that he said he shared it to so that happened for a reason you know and um he was talking about the bible in genesis he was talking about like adam and eve you know he was he was questioning he was saying that not in a bad way but he was he was just asking like so like you know after um you know there was adam and eve and they had kids cain and abel and they had kids but he said that they went to the city like he was thinking that oh well um like they went to the city and it was like prostitution it was all kinds of corruptness evil wickedness and he was he was asking so how is it already somebody at the city when, when god only created adam and eve like how is there more people you know at the city when he went to the city and i told him i said remember the bible doesn't have a time frame so like you know if they if it says they went to the city you no know, after adam and eve they went to the city and was already people there doing wicked things you know like the first city you know like they built a city I mean, that could have been like a thousand years, you know, you know, the Bible doesn't have a time frame. Like there was, they could be already, you know, Cain and Abel, I mean, Adam and Eve, they had kids, Cain and Abel, they had kids, they had kids, they had kids. So it's not necessarily like Adam and Eve, you know, after they went at, they went straight to the city before giving birth, you know, like, and it was already people before Adam and Eve, like, that's why there was a city, you know, like, no, it's not like that. You know, the Bible doesn't have a time frame. So, like, you know, that could be a thousand years. That could be, like, you know, you know how long ago that was. You know, you don't know if it happened right after, you know, Adam and Eve was created. Like, you don't know. You know, like, so basically my point is that Adam and Eve, when they had kids, they could have kids and they have kids. So it was like a, you know, a journey, you know, like generations, you know. So Bible doesn't clearly have a time frame. So he was saying maybe that's why people think there's other gods because, you know, there was a city and, you know, maybe somebody created them in that city. And then, you know, because first Adam and Eve and then, you know, maybe there was somebody already there before Adam and Eve. But nope, that's not true. Adam and Eve was clearly the first human beings that God created. And the city that they went to, after, you know, after they was created, you know, with all that corruption and wickedness and everything, you know, that could have been generations ago like that i don't know that wasn't right after god created adam and eve you know like there was nobody over there no there was no like there was no city there was nobody in the city like you know like when that happened so basically it's no time frame cause that could have happened like thousands and thousands of years ago when they finally went to that city where all that corruption after their kids gave birth to kids and their kids and generations so yeah it was a testimony like it was a nice testimony that he shared to me and i told him like, i seen an angel because he asked me have i ever felt or see god's presence and i said i felt god's presence and there was an angel image in the light that i seen and he believed me because he could see it in my um face like i was telling the truth so he was doubting he was doubting me and he was just believing in me and he was just thankful that he we got to talk about God's love and the reason why we got on that topic because he was talking about what happened at the um you know about this guy who was applying for NASA who apparently got killed as he was helping his friend with their baby um by gunshot violence and he's uh he was going to NASA and making a big thing for him, himself and you know he can't believe how somebody just shot him and he died and he had a whole life to live I told him that everything happens for a reason, you know, God knows everything, so he knows what's going on, you know, it's sad that that happened, but, you know, his mom, they said his mom, it was on the news, and they said his mom was, like, really sad and crying, and that his, that her son died, you know, the one that was trying to go to NASA, and, like, everything is a connection, God, only God knows what's going on in their lives, and their hearts, and what needs to be done, so, you know. It's just a blessing that I was talking to him. And as I was talking to him, I felt chills, like, you know, from the Lord. And he said he felt chills, too. So that's a divine presence from Jesus Christ just at that moment today at work. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. You know, 
the time for everything is a time for me to stop sinning, especially a particular sin. Like I'm thankful that God still loves me and his grace is efficient and you know I'm always worthy in God's eyes. So, you know, it's a time to stop and that's what I'm doing. We penny. God bless Dan Spooners clocking out. Peace.